Hi guys, Steady Eddie here. This time at Market Village in Wahin. Now this is a rather good little old shopping centre here. It's got a lot of the stuff that you need, including McDonald's and Burger King and a really good street food court in the basement. But another good thing about it is that it's very, very close to the hotel where I'm staying. And that's what I'm going to show you today, okay? Here is the hotel just over there. That's the one. It's the Kiang Han Beach Hotel. And it's a really, really good location. Okay, so here we are at the Kiang Head, or the Kiang Hard, however you pronounce it, Beach Hotel. It's quite an impressive hotel, it's very, very clean, looks good from the outside, and it lives up to it when you get on the inside. Okay, so let's go. Do you mind if I film it on reception? Yes. Oh, lovely. Well, lovely stuff, lovely stuff. You can actually get through to the beach that way. A bit, you know, through that car park, and there's a pathway that leads down to the beach, very easy. So on the beach you've got ponies, and you've got various other things. Wah Hin has got a famous train station. So this mural here pays tribute to all of that. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna go upstairs now. Where is the swimming pool? Swimming pool, second floor. Okay, you say hello to my camera? There you go, she's a lovely lady this, lovely lady. I came to stay here for three nights and I've stayed for 10 nights. That's what a good hotel this is. Really great hotel, okay? So we may as well have a little look at the swimming pool now. Typical of me, 10 nights. This is my 10th night at this hotel, and yet you've guessed it. I still haven't got around to using the swimming pool. I think there's a couple of them here. There's one on the second floor, there's one somewhere else. But anyway, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Now, I don't know if this is the breakfast room, because this hotel does not include breakfast for the price. And I haven't even heard anyone mention breakfast. To be honest with you, I don't know if it's out of action due to the pandemic. But anyway, here we are on the second floor, and there's, there's a nice little old pool here. There's a nice little pool, nice palm tree there. You do see people using this pool, because I've seen it. And I think actually there's another one up, up on that floor there. I don't believe this is the only pool. But there you go, it's not massive. But it's nice enough if you like that sort of thing. There you go. The Kiang Han Hotel, I believe this is called. Strange name, but nice hotel. I like it here. Okay, so here we go. We're now on the seventh floor. This is the one that I've been staying on. Very clean hotel, this. Very, very clean. Nicely kept. Maids come around every day. Very clean. And here you go. This is the view from the window. Well, not the window, the balcony. In the hallway outside my hotel room. There you go. You've got the beach over there. You've got the market village over there. Cracking location. It's not on top of anything. It's not central to everything, but it's close enough. It's close enough. You know, you can get anywhere you want from here. There you go, the parasailers over that way. Parasurfers, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so here we go. This is the hotel. This is the hotel room. And what a lovely, lovely room it is. The maids have been round. It's late afternoon, so... The maids have been around to do the beds and everything. Very, very clean looking room. Before we go any further, I'll show you the bathroom. Now, the bathroom is very nice and clean. You've got a, everything uh, that should work, works perfectly. Very nice shower there with hot water. 
There you go. Nothing over the top, but very appealing and very, well, very nice really. Can't go wrong with it. Thing, thing about it, only thing about it is that the, um, the light on here makes a bit of a racket. It does make a bit of a racket, but never mind. We'll switch the light on over here. It's late afternoon and there you go, there you go. Okay, so what else can we say about it? Well, it's got a safe, which, you know, I don't always use because a lot of my valuables are too big to fit in the safe anyway. But it's there if you want it. There's enough space with all my laundry and all that kind of stuff. There you go. So, there you go. It's got a safe. It's a nice, spacious room. I did a live stream uh, from over there uh, on, on that, you know, that desk the other, the other day. And somebody said, that room looks really small. Well, it's not really small. I don't know why. Because um, it's a fair size. It's not massive, but it's spacious enough. You've got a lovely big double bed there. You've got enough power points, plenty of power points. Plenty of them. So, you know, you're not going to show us of being able to charge up your uh, devices. It's, it's got a, it's a nice bedside cabinet there for putting your glass of beer on there or your glass of wine or whatever it's got a TV which typically I've never used it's got a nice fridge down here there you go it's got a fridge put all your stuff in there they supply a couple of waters per day and this is quite comfortable you know if you want to you know, sit at your laptop, it's quite comfortable there because you've got a charging point there. You've got a extra light here, up there. So it's, it's just, I couldn't fault it. Of course, it's got a kettle as well. And who doesn't love waking up to tankfuls of coffee? So it's really got all the stuff that you, you would possibly need. It's got a, t a telephone in case of emergency. And... Yeah, well, let's go, let's go through the window and have a look at the view now. Guys, you can hang your washing down there, no problem. It's very efficient, you know, there's nothing that this hotel needs that it, it doesn't have, really. It has all the stuff that you want. You can say hello to your neighbours over there. <laughs> so there you go. This is the balcony which is very nice and comfortable, a nice and nice decent size. You know, you sit and have your breakfast here, whatever you're eating in the morning and your coffee. And there is the, the sea down that way. So, you know, you've got, you're not far from the beach. And did I say that it had one swimming pool? Well, there's one swimming pool down there, yes. That's the one I showed you before. And there's the other swimming pool. It's got another swimming pool, which I believe is on the, is that the fifth floor, is it? That's on the second floor, the, the uh, lower one, and I think the other one's on the fifth floor. I haven't actually gotten round to using either of them, but anyway, as you can see, it's a very appealing building. It's quite a big hotel, there's a lot to it, various parts. And really, I, I can't fault this hotel, other than the absence of breakfast. And no one's actually mentioned that. I can't really see a thing wrong with it. Okay, so the Kiang Hard Hotel, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Good location. Uh, perfect hotel. Can't fault it in, in the slightest, really. A few more things. The Wi-Fi is excellent. Bloody good Wi-Fi here. Really, really, really good. Uh, can't fault that at all. As for the hotel, you know, if you want to bring a guest back, well, this is a double room. It is guest friendly. And really wisely, they insist that if you do bring a guest back who's not registered at your hotel, then what you have to do is they, provide, they should leave their documentation there, their ID card, whatever, which is good. You know, that's for your own safety, your own security. So it's guest friendly. It's got great Wi-Fi. It's got a safe. It's a lovely, clean hotel. Very peaceful, you know, no, you know, no one uh, bothers you or, or, or anything. A nice location. So the price of this hotel in Wahe, the price is, a, um, this is the month of March, by the way, which is now going towards the lower season. The price of this hotel is a 
terrific, very reasonable 800 baht per night. That doesn't include breakfast, but it includes water and coffee. 800 Thai baht per night. And I would say for a very clean, very comfortable, very appealing hotel, bear in mind I was planning on staying here for three nights and I've ended up staying for 10 nights, I'd say 800 baht a night is a damn good deal. This hotel gets the steady Eddie seal of approval.